What's up internet? My name is Kyle, back with another video about cameras and tech and stuff. Today, we're gonna talk about the A6000, but not good things, okay? We're gonna talk about the top five reasons why I hate the Sony A6000. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for the recent support. I'm glad you're back, or if you're new here, hi, we make videos about cameras and tech and stuff. I already said that, yeah. Anyway, so today is the antithesis to my first video, which was five reasons why I think the Sony a6000 is awesome. But today we're talking about how it's not so awesome sometimes, you know? We gotta be honest with each other to talk about some bad things about the camera that we all know and love. The Sony a6000, look at this little little cute thing. I just, I kissed the camera by myself in my living room. Strange things happen here. So yeah, we all love the camera, but we all have things that we don't like about it, which by the way, if you don't share some of my thoughts, that's cool. You can comment down below and talk to me about it. That's what this is for, the comment section. It's to have a discussion, you know? Okay, so five things. Number one, probably my biggest gripe with this camera is not having an articulating LCD screen. Let me show you something. This guy right here with the smudged up lens. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta clean that. Ooh, I know, you're not supposed to clean a lens with your shirt, but can you, can you give me a, a, a So this camera right here is my old Canon T3i, Rebel series. I love this camera. I got it in 2013 and I didn't start using it for YouTube until 2014. Maybe I'll overlay some of my first videos that were really, really terrible. Don't judge me, okay? But what's cool about this camera and a lot of other cameras, and this one came out in 2011. Sony a6000 came out in 2014. And this camera has the fabled LCD screen that switches to the side and back. And it also angles to where you can see yourself. Holy crapola, what a revolutionary concept. You know, unfortunately, the Sony a6000 doesn't have the screen that flips out, but you know, I guess we can't have everything with the Sony a6000, but it just seems like such an easy thing to do. I mean, not easy as in like, oh, I'm an engineer and it's just, it's super easy, but like, come on. This camera came out in 2011. There are other cameras that have come out since that have the flip out screen. Just, just put what's on this on this and I'll be happy. So yeah, I mean, some of you guys might know that, you know, that's this, this is all you get with the Sony a6000. Some of you might not if you're considering buying this. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but it is a gripe that a lot of people who use the Sony Alpha cameras don't like. Uh, I mean, all of their cameras don't have the flip out LCD. Actually, let me take that back. The Sony A5100 does have it and it's really cool. And I actually, I'm really curious about maybe getting that camera and then putting some prime lenses on it and seeing the quality because it is an APS-C camera that you can swap lenses on and everything like that. And it has a screen that flips up. When I was daily vlogging in 2016, a lot of it, I used my iPhone 6. And then I got this camera and I switched over to that. And when you use wide autofocus, it's, it's a great camera for autofocus. So it wasn't too big of a deal to not see myself, but it's still something that a lot of people need. And I mean, I have this giant monitor here next to me. And if you don't know my setup, you can watch my YouTube setup video. Um, it's just, it would be nice. It would be nice. Okay, we've talked way too long about the first thing. <laughs> okay, so number two is that there is no microphone jack on this camera. If you look on this side, there's the micro USB and mini HDMI, which I do use the mini HDMI to go to this monitor for a video so I can see myself because it doesn't have a flip out LCD. And the other side doesn't have anything besides the NFC logo. 
So you guys may have noticed if you see my other video, like the five reasons why I think the Sony a6000 is awesome, is I didn't have good audio in my first couple of videos. I have fixed it with this guy, the Zoom H1, but that's an external microphone and it takes, you know, clapping and doing all that stuff and then synchronizing your audio, which it's, it's super easy. I'll definitely make a video about that, but it is a pain, again, going to like somebody who wants to daily vlog and hold their camera out and be able to see themselves, be able to get good audio from the camera. There's only really one option. There's a hot shoe microphone. I think it's actually by Sony that you can put on the hot shoe connector, but that microphone isn't as good as a lot of the Rode microphones, the shotgun microphones, or an H1 zoom. It just seems like they just wanted to put that in their higher level cameras. I believe the 6300 has it, but the 6500, I know for a fact, does have a microphone port, and that's big for filmmakers and stuff like that. So I understand why they left it out, but at the same time, it's like, you could have put it on there. Oh, number three, hold on, I'm gonna show you. <sighs> okay, so number three is battery life. We have lots of batteries for the Sony a6000. I mean, it's, it's kind of comical. I think we have six total. If we don't, we have four. No, I think we have six. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. You have all of these little batteries that you have to take care of and remember and charge and just hold on to, have them in your pocket, blah, blah, blah. And obviously the reason why you have so many batteries or why the battery drains fast is it's more of an electronic system than a DSLR, like the viewfinder, it takes up battery and it's a smaller camera. So it has a smaller battery. So, you know, I complain about battery life with the camera, but at the same time, it's kind of a benefit that you have to take some bad things with having a smaller camera like this. So overall, it's okay, but it is still something that I dislike about the Sony a6000. I just dropped a battery. The third reason why I dislike the Sony a6000 is because the lack of lens selection. How is it the third thing when you already did a third thing? I can't even count to four. <sighs> Stupid past Kyle. Okay, like this is a known thing. If you don't know and you're just getting into the Sony world, don't know why I just did this with my hands. The A6000 series, like 6,000, 6,300, 6,500, they don't have that big of a lens selection for the APS-C cameras. There's not a lot of Sony, which means native to the camera body lenses. Um, they just, it seems like they knew that they were coming out with the three bodies for the APS-C and they knew there were some lenses that were coming out, but then they were like, well, if people want to have other lenses, they can just buy the full frame lenses and then deal with the crop factor and yada yada. That kind of sucks as somebody who just wants a lens that's built for the camera that I have, just kind of what it is and I'm good to go. But hopefully in the future, I mean, people have been hoping for years, but there are other lenses or other lens manufacturers out there who have upped their game like Sigma, so I mean, I'm filming on a Sigma right now, so kudos to you guys and thanks for broadening the lens selection, but that is a downside to the Sony APS-C cameras. Okay, so I actually, it took me a while to even think of a fifth reason. I know, it's like, oh my God, you love your camera so much, but it's like, have you seen the channel? But no, uh, if I had a fifth thing to pick that I dislike about this camera, it would be the menu system. Um, it seems like a lot of the community has to kind of like band together and be like, oh, this is at this page, or you can find this setting, this page. I'll get you out! I found the city of gold! I found it! And there's this setting that only works in this mode. and. It's, it's a lot for a beginner and it's a lot for somebody who's transitioning from Nikon to Sony or Canon to Sony. It just seems like other systems may be a little bit easier to learn, but I mean, I've had this camera for a little bit over two years and now it's, it's great. I, I prefer it. So I think it's just a steep learning curve with Sony cameras, the menu system, maybe not like how to take photos and everything like that. I feel like that's kind of basic across all cameras, 
but the menu system is a little cluttered. There's six tabs, six different pages in some of the tabs. I feel like they can do a better job and maybe in the next camera, <coughs> Sony a7000 or something, I don't know. I, I don't know what's coming out these days, guys. But maybe they can improve upon that and uh, have something simpler. So actually, that's all five. I feel like I had I had more, but the title of the video is five. So that's it, that is it. Overall, you know, I love this camera. I know you guys love this camera. I just felt like there was a good chance to me to talk about some of the things I dislike about it, see what you guys think about it. I think everybody's gonna agree with number one. If you don't, I don't know who you are. The rumors are that there is a Sony A7000 series somewhere along the line. I feel like Sony knows that the APS-C camera line is a good selling product. They just need to make a little more lenses. They need to simplify the menu system. Give this thing a dang microphone jack. And also, for the love of the camera gods, can they please put an articulating LCD screen? If they did all of that and all the other Sony goodness was in it, I would buy it in a heartbeat. But I'm stoked for the future with Sony. I'm stoked about this camera even four years after its release. I hope you guys are, and I hope you guys come back for more videos. Thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you for all your support. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next episode. Later.